Hey guys, welcome back to Election Center, and today we're going to be talking about the polling in Wisconsin and this brand new poll that has Biden up by 17% in Wisconsin. And I'm on real clear politics here, but let me show you guys something real quick. We're also going to be looking at 538, and the polling just jumped to Biden because of that poll. 538 gives us an A plus rating, but yeah, it's ABC News, Washington Post. And it looks like this also pretty recent polling data gives Biden a much smaller lead. But yeah, 17%. Wow. Um, so should we be paying attention to this or is it a major outlier? Well, let's look at the other surrounding polls. Okay, so you see here this A plus pollster plus 17% for Biden. This A slash B pollster, Marquette Law School, much narrower leads. Possibly that's an indicator that this ABC poll, Washington Post poll, is a major outlier. Because they give him plus 5 and plus 4. Let's look at these polls, at least by YouGov. These more recent ones, the two up here, plus 9, both of them. Gravis, plus 11. So, yeah, we're not seeing any other polls with these kinds of numbers. You know, let's just filter here by grade. A, A-rated pollsters, or B, B at the least. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just searching here. Uh, there's, there's never been these kinds of numbers. And the surrounding polls, right? This is a decently rated pollster. Pretty high rating. Not even close to 17. Not even 5. YouGov, they're, they're only B-rated. But they also give a substantial lead, but not even close to 17. In this poll from a week or two ago, uh, plus 10, they're A-plus rated. But yeah, what does this mean for Wisconsin? Let's look at the polling average here, plus 8.4%, and then on real quick politics, plus 6.6%, and only 8.4% on average. That's an increase, though. That's a sudden increase. I checked earlier today. It was actually over 9 points. I guess these subsequent Marquette Law School po polls shrunk it down but so yeah i'm just uh we got we got to wait for some more numbers to come out i'm interested in seeing the subsequent poll from this pollster here abc news slash the washington post to see if that 17 point lead holds up in that poll for that pollster but yeah possibly these marquette law school polls underestimating biden but yeah i'm just interested in seeing more numbers come out of the state because from this era of 20 to 25th october 20th to 25th we only have a few like a-rated pollsters so i'm interested in seeing more numbers come out of the state of wisconsin but let's talk about trump's chances of winning wisconsin and here's something to think about in terms of trump winning the state of wisconsin i want to show you guys here the results in 2016 for Wisconsin. Here in Wisconsin, Trump won by less than 1%. It looks like he won by 0.77%. So that's less than a point. And if Joe Biden is outperforming Clinton by, you know, 5% on election day, then that means he wins the state of Wisconsin by four points. Now let's keep in mind the state may be trending to the right. Let's look at the state of Wisconsin in 2012 where Obama won the state by basically 7%. So it was a few points more Democratic than the rest of the nation as a whole. Fast forward to 2016, we look at the state of Wisconsin. Trump won it by almost a point, whereas but Clinton won the national popular vote by 2%. So it was around three points to the right of the nation as a whole. So that could be a six-point trend to the right. So let's sort of do the math here. If it was three points to the right in 2016 and it continues that shift again, it trends that way again, how it did from 2012 to 2016, six points to the right even more, then it would be nine points to the right of the nation as a whole. Biden wins popular vote by seven, two points in Trump's column. So that's something to think about. Maybe it's trending, it just swung to the right a lot in 2016. But then let's also think about this. Joe Biden has an appeal with blue-collar voters that Hillary Clinton certainly did not have. And 
Joe Biden is making some serious gains with these groups that helped to elect Trump in 2016 in states like Wisconsin. So that trend might be reversed, right? So if it trends back to the Democrats, right, then we're talking about this state going to Joe Biden by a number of points. So these are all factors to think about when we're talking about who's going to win the state of Wisconsin. But one more thing I wanted to talk about before ending this video, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about uh, are the polls in Wisconsin from 2016 because they always showed a really substantial lead for Clinton all the way through. And I'll show you guys, uh, you know, from mid-October, we have all these polls. Look, look here. Don't look at adjusted leader. That's them adjusting for bias. Just look at what the actual poll result was here. This final poll from Market University, they gave it an A rating. It had Clinton up by 5%. This poll here, Clinton plus 5, had B rating. This A minus poll had Clinton up 5. From mid-October here, Monmouth had Clinton up a few points. But I want to try something. I want to see what happens uh, when we see how many undecided voters were there. There were, right? So here, for instance, in this Marquette poll, you have, once you take away Clinton's 46, that's 54 remaining. Take away Trump's 40. That's 14 remaining. Johnson's four, that's 10 remaining. Stein probably had like one. So that was 9% undecided. Undecided voters broke for Trump in 2016. And they could have broken heavily enough for him to just overcome this plus five for Clinton, right? Or, you know, we can try this with another poll here. St. Norbert. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I think it's probably St. Norbert. Uh, Clinton plus five here. You have 100, take away Clinton's 47. You have 53, take away Trump's 39. You have 14, once again, Johnson here only getting 1%. That's 13%. Stein probably not even registering in this poll. Let's just take away a point for her. You have 12 undecided. 12%. If those undecideds, late deciders, break for Trump, you can overcome that Clinton margin. And so, yeah. These late deciders and undecided voters, they broke for Trump. That could be what helped him barely get over the edge and help him win by 0.77%. So yeah, you know, and looking at this final uh, 2016 RCP average, where they averaged it out, so Clinton was ahead by 6.5. She slightly underperformed this final real clear politics average, but Trump way overperformed. So I'm assuming not 100% of undecideds broke for Trump, right? It looks like maybe there was, uh, in the polls, some overestimating of Clinton. But also keep in mind, maybe they weren't wildly off. And so we can't just assume that uh, the polls are just going to be completely off in 2020 here in the state of Wisconsin. And I don't think they will be insanely off like they seem to be in 2016, right? Undecided voters I don't think are going to break heavily for Trump. There's less undecided voters, and so yeah. And this is not even to mention the fact that uh, I've heard these pollsters have changed their methodology since 2016, uh, aiming for higher accuracy. Maybe they're more accurate. But yeah, I just wanted to break the news to you guys about this new poll and talk about whether or not it was an outlier, in my opinion, uh, based off of the surrounding polls. And yeah, just talk about the state of Wisconsin in this video. Uh, but yeah. Uh, definitely let me know your guys' thoughts about this in the comments section below. And I'm definitely interested in hearing your guys' thoughts or reply to your comments. We can have a conversation about this in the comments section. But yeah, you know, if you like this type of content I make here on this channel about uh, election analysis, polling analysis, electoral maps, all things elections, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, because my videos are going to be right up your alley if this is something that interests you. Uh, but yeah, you know, I say it one last time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. thought it was interesting. And I will see you in the next Election Center video. Bye, guys.